It's the largest food tech uh, event in the world and for it to happen in London is quite special for, for London. I'm John Quilter, aka The Food Busker, and I'm here at London Food Tech Week Insect Spa. It's uh, an experience that we've created for you guys to come down and check out and find out about all the new food technology that's out there, including crickets and mealworms. Innovating the whole field of food and the whole food industry and system. So it's taking the latest technology and some of the smartest minds to come up with solutions that are really going to revolutionise what the consumer sees and what the consumer is offered, but also fundamentally the sustainability of the system that provides food for you, me and our families. I'm Jamie Spafford, I'm one of the co-founders of Sorted Food. There's obviously some really exciting communities happening in London doing some great stuff around food tech. So the fact that Food Tech Week can bring all of them together to chat about different experiences, people can take that knowledge and apply it to what they're doing in their own communities, is brilliant. Serendipity is the start of innovation and I think London Food Tech Week helps make that really easy. And just to reiterate that bringing a lot of like-minded people together, um, only amazing things can happen. So I think that we'll see a lot of great opportunities and new solutions coming out of the week. Food Tech Week is only two years old and they've already made a massive difference not just on the kind of London food tech scene um, but also making waves internationally as well. It's a great network they're bringing together and it's a, it's a real privilege to be part of it. London Food Tech Week is a great opportunity for startups, particularly early stage startups, to show what they're all about. The audience is very friendly, they're very interested and also quite knowledgeable. For investors, uh, obviously, you do get to see a lot of startups and you see them before a lot of other investors. There's so much opportunity out there for us to make such a better job for customers in terms of making it special and different for them, both in the physical store and the digital space. There are still lots of people out there doing some amazing things uh, that we can learn from and we can uh, perhaps think about how do we change and adapt our business to the future. Human behaviour is changing, you know, it's no it's no secret that new generation of, uh, of younger viewers are viewing in a very, very, very different pattern. It would be remiss of us. It would be a huge mistake for us not to recognise that and not want to engage with those audiences where they want to be engaged with. This week is an incredibly important week, actually, for anyone interested in food. And in fact, people who aren't even interested in food, it's really important. The people coming to listen to the talks represent big brands, small brands, little innovative companies, their consumers, their people who are interested in the future of restaurant service. So I think whether you're a moderator, whether you're a speaker, or whether you're someone attending the audience, you're learning a huge amount.